So actually, this is a design for Abu Dhabi. Uh, it's a tower in um, uh, in a development called the the uh, Atnek, so the Abu Dhabi National Exhibition Center. The site is about 20 towers and a huge um, exhibition hall. And this is one of the 20 commercially developed towers. And in the master plan had a total of, well, I think, a, a million square meters of uh, uh, GFA. And it was divided per plot. And this number was the only part of the brief that we've got. <laughs> <laughs> so... In the master plan, we could make 21,604 square meters on that plot. And that's and, it. And the only thing that the client said is, I don't care what you do, but I'm paying for this. So this is what I want. <laughs> wow. That's a great brief. <laughs> <laughs> and um, basically what, what we did is we, we created a, a, a small script in, uh, in, in processing. Uh, and what it does is it, it, we took the, the urban context that, that we had an envelope that we had to stay within and we extruded the envelope for the amount of levels of the tower, of the amount of floors that we could make. And uh, we had to make about 90% of this volume to reach that 21,000 square meters. <laughs> so there's about 10% room for architecture, if you put it like that. <laughs> So what we did is we said, okay, we have, we grouped the floors per five floors and we have some control points in there. And by pulling and pushing those points, I can create a shape and I can immediately verify if I'm within my uh, limit. Yeah. yeah. We translate it to the design package. So this is done in 3D Studio to make the really nice smooth curvature. Um, and then that's taken to Revit. And in such a way that you, what, what you see in the, in the design, it, it's, it's tapering quite massively along the top. So the, the lines move uh, uh, pretty drastically if you see the design. But if you see the section, you see that it's almost a straight building. What we did is we, we created a 3D model in Revit right from the start. Uh, that has two reasons. So because every floor plan is different. And uh, the city is really keen on having that GFA also as a maximum GFA for that plot. They want to be able to verify all floors. So instead of making a typical floor plan, we're uh, obliged to have a floor plan per floor because all the parameters are different. So what we did is we, well, we, we created this, this model linked to the, the 3D geometry and created all the floor plans like that. And... Well, as you as you can see, that the further you move up the tower, the, the more it tapers, the smaller the plans become. And what we have here in that in this box is the only thing that this does is it measures the GFA and all the area excluded from the GFA, so that you have that overview uh, on each floor plan. But it's all fully linked to the 3D model. So we have a Revit model, all the floors linked to the spreadsheets. Uh, to different views, and that makes it really clear what we want to do. Uh, and, and, and guys, how many uh, different um, people were involved in this? I mean, it was. Th did you engineer this one yourself as well? Yes, our our project team consisted of two members. I did, I was a senior architect, and I had one assistant. I have a a, a, a really nice anecdote because the our uh, our uh, software consultant. I showed him this as well, and. As you can see, this is this is the area schedule for this project, and it, it really comes down to 21,604 square meters because we had a direct feedback between this spreadsheet and my design model. So uh, if we made we, we made changes all the way up to a week before we submitted the scheme design to the uh, to the municipality, uh, uh, one or two weeks before we introduced an extra elevator, so it, it changed the floor plan and the, the GFA drastically, but we were able to adjust. Uh, the, the perimeter of the building to compensate for that. <laughs> and uh, we were able to do that within two weeks. So implementing the design changes, also redesigning the building, everything. I had I talked to the, that software supplier and he said, normally just making this area schedule after a change like that, if you have a big office, it will cost you a week for your drawing room to come up with these numbers. 
And here it's done instantly. If I change them, I can see immediately what's happening. So I, can, I, I have a, a, a real-time feedback between the square meters and my design. Fantastic. That's amazing. Thanks for your time. Good to speak to you. Really enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.